We're only about an eighth of a mile, if that, up from Lake Ontario. Mm -hmm. So some of these fish are mixed, they're really fresh, you know, some are a little bit darker. I'm just amazed. Look at yeah, look. good sized fish. I think it's going to be a while yet. You wait so long to get a fish on and then you want to bring it in, you know, yeah. but... Well, you got you a know. six pound tippet on yeah. there, so you can't get too Very aggressive. Light. Yep. Now, Roger, here's the cradle. Okay. This is going to be interesting. It's on a little lanyard, so you can right. only go so far. This is where I'm going to see how coordinated you are, because you've got the rod in one oh. hand. This guy's rolled up in the line. I'm going to try to come this way, and you stay there, and we're going to try to guide it into the net. Wait a minute, I'm all hooked up here. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah, that's right. I can't <laughs> you I'm stuck to here. you. Okay, here we go. Okay, whenever you're ready. Take your time, okay. and I'm going to try to guide it in there we here. Go. That's a nice fish. It's a big, fat female. That's what it is. And it wants to go up into the bridge area. I'm going to try to. Yeah. Have we got it in there? Wow! That is a <laughs> nice brown. Okay, we better turn around to show. Don't fall. Don't drop anything. I got the rod. Okay, <laughs> now actually, I'm going to give you this rod too. I want to go a little bit closer because this is a gorgeous fish, Roger. Look at this. I'm almost yeah. falling over here now. <laughs> what we got to what we got to do is here. Be very careful. Oh, is that going to be? Uh, that's. If you can hold the cradle in case it comes out of my hands. Right, hang on. I don't know how. I, <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Okay. Okay. Here we go. How are we going to? You know what? what? Did I? Yeah, I brought. You got the glove. Got the glove. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. How long have you been producing these uh, fillet gloves? 20 years, I think, something like that. Does it say, Long it says, this years. glove says fillet glove right on there, but don't be misled. It's actually a very good glove to tail fish with. So uh, can you tell I haven't used it yet today? Yeah, it's, it's a little, a little tight, a little yeah. yeah. It's stainless steel and Kevlar. So what I'm gonna do is make sure it's on there really well, because we're gonna take our time with this big fish. I mean, when you fish tributaries like this, sometimes all day, okay, now hopefully it won't, it's got tons of energy still. Yeah, still. Wait yeah. till you get a look at this. Oh, yeah. How's that? Is that a nice, a nice brown trout <laughs> for a tributary something? stream? Roger, it's perfect. Ooh. Okay, you know what? We're going to put it back, put it back in, in here. Down. And we're going to let it revive a little bit. And then we're going to release it. What a workout. Look at how plump. Now it doesn't matter if it yeah. swims out of my hands. It's a plump female migratory brown trout. You can see if, if I hold it, look at my hand underneath. See how thick that back is on that fish? We've kept her in the water. This is a prime spawning fish. A lot of steelheaders would want to keep a brown trout like this because mm -hmm. they, they believe that the brown trout eggs are superior to the rainbow trout eggs or salmon eggs for bait. What a gorgeous brown to get on a fly. You know, there's very few marks on it, just a little one on it's the far other side there, but that's yeah. Yeah. No, no, she's in mint shape. Yeah. I don't think she's been up in the river line. Now, she's yeah. going to disappear because the water's a little muddy here, yeah. but you're going to see her take off. What a thick fish. There she Here goes. she goes.